All right, I'm going to show you three variations of tandem front wrap cross carry. Uh, the first variation and the second variation both use a single pocket front wrap cross carry and the last one is a double pocket front wrap cross carry. Uh, I'm using a size seven woven wrap. Um, my base is usually somewhere between a five and a six. So you're going to start by finding your middle marker on your wrap, just like regular front wrap cross carry. You start that middle marker centered on your chest. And you're going to bring your tails around the back. I'm actually gonna do the red on the top. Bring your tails around the back, grab your top rail, bring it over your shoulder, put crosses in the back. And then you're gonna repeat with your other tail, bring your top rail over your shoulder so that they cross in the back. All right. So at this point, you want to grab your first baby. You're gonna bring her up over your shoulder. My babies are three weeks old. This baby is about nine pounds. My other baby is about eight pounds. They were born at term with no medical issues. If you do have babies that were born early or have medical issues, you want to check with your healthcare provider before you start wearing them. All right, so I'm going to reach up within this pocket, grab her feet, and bring her down into the pocket, bring this top rail up, and I'm going to slide her off center so she's kind of hovering over one of my breasts. I'm going to bring a little bit of that bottom rail up under her butt to make a seat. I'm going to start tightening the wrap. I'm just going to start strand by strand tightening that bottom rail. I'm going to do the top rail just to snug her up a little bit and in the middle a little. So she's nice and snug in here. I want to have a little bit of room for the other baby on this side, but I want it to be fairly snug so that this baby is not going to move very much. All right, so I'm going to pin my tails in between my knees. And what I like to do to support the first baby's head, she's got really good head control, but what I'm gonna do is bring my elbow around the back of her head so that when I lean down to get the second baby, she's not gonna drop out. Her head's not gonna bob everywhere. It's always great if you have a second adult to help you grab the second baby, but if you're tandem wrapping, you probably don't have a second adult. All right, so I'm gonna grab that second baby Scoop her up, and I'm gonna bring her, so I'm using my left arm to kind of hold my first baby in as well. So I'm going to bring this baby's legs through that horizontal pass again. This is probably the very trickiest part. And I'm gonna bring some of that Bottom rail up under her butt. Make sure the top rail comes up to her shoulders. And then I'm gonna tighten both tails again. I'm gonna check and see where their legs are. Make sure that there's no slack in the carry and that they're nice and high. So this variation, you take your two tails, you bunch them up they're gonna to go to the outside. So you can see it's gonna be the same thing on both sides. Over that first leg, under the second, cross in front, bring it around behind you, and tie in back. You wanna tie a double knot. Okay? So you can see how much length I have on my tails here. The second variation uses the same exact setup, except instead of these bunch passes coming on the outside of the babies, I'm gonna have the bunch passes come in an X in front of the babies. And now you can see I'm gonna go, oh, sorry, over the inside leg, under the outside leg, and tie in the back.
So this separates their heads a little bit better. You could see in the previous carry, their heads were starting to fall together a little bit more. This one keeps them a little bit more separate, protects their airways a little bit better. You can just kind of push the bunch past in between them to separate them and the carry a little bit more. So you can see again how long my tails are. If you want to bottle feed in this carry, you simply have both bottles here. They would be upright fed. Cradle carry in this, a semi-reclined cradle carry in this uh, wrap is not really gonna happen very easily. If you want to nurse, what you wanna do is loosen this knot about that much. And you're going to pull on the bunch passes to lower the babies to breast height. And then you would latch them on. This is not going to be a hands-free tandem nursing position um, because you want to make sure that you're monitoring babies. You'll often have to hold their heads or hold a breast, um, just like you have to do with uh, wearing one baby and nursing them. So you want to be sure that if you do nurse them while they're up, that you are really closely monitoring their breathing. All right, to get them down, you want to untie your knot in the back and then always reposition them back up once you have finished nursing. And I'm actually going to just lay them down. Normally you would reverse the process and pull one baby out at a time. I find it's just easier if you have a surface that you can lay them down, especially if you're loosening up the breath. All right, now I'm gonna show you double pocket front wrap cross carry. Again, you're gonna find your middle marker, but instead of starting it in the center of your chest, you're going to start it in the center of your back. And this one, you definitely need more wrap for. So you'll be able to see at the end how much tail I have left over. All right, so what you're going to do here is create two pockets. So there's my first pocket, there's my second pocket. So those are my two horizontal passes. And I'm going to take the inner pocket tail, bring it up over my shoulder. And then I'm gonna take my outer pocket tail, bring it up over my shoulder in the back, having the tails cross in the back. So now I have an outer pocket that I'm gonna loosen up a little bit, and I have an inner pocket. So my left shoulder, is controlling the tightness of the inner pocket. My right shoulder tail is controlling the tightness of the outer pocket. All right, so I'm gonna grab my bless ear baby first. She's gonna go in the inner pocket. So I'm gonna reach through both, grab her legs, pass her through. Again, centering her on Side. Oh. Oh, much. All right. I'm going to find this is my bottom rail for my inner pocket. I'm just going to tuck a little bit in between the two of us, bring her arms in. And I'm going to snug that pocket up. And again, we said that outer pocket was controlled by the right hand tail. So to tighten the inner pocket, just gonna tighten my left hand tail. All right, so she's really snug in there. I'm gonna pin that tail in between my knees. I'm gonna try to shift her over a little bit more. There we go. Now I'm gonna grab my other baby since I have just a little bit of slack on that outer pocket. 
So again, I'm going to protect her head with my elbow. I'm going to grab my second baby, bring her up, pass her legs through that outer pocket. I know. I, she's stuck on her sister's arm there. There we go. All right, and she is also gonna get a seat. We're gonna pull that whole outer pocket down from the first baby. Yeah, okay. All right. And then I'm gonna tighten the outer pocket. This baby. He's a little off kilter. We're going to try to snug him up a little bit. So they're nice and high. Their heads are kind of flopping together a little bit. So you can decide if you want to do the crosses between them or the crosses on the outside. I'm just going to show you the outside. They are better separated than a single pocket from Red Cross Carry. And then I tie off in the back. So you can see I really don't have very, my tails are not very long in comparison to the single pocket front Red Cross Carry. So here they are in a double pocket front Red Cross Carry with a woven wrap that is about one size longer than my base size. Thank you.